In this video, we're going to look at particle movement and how to tell when the particle has stopped moving. Well, the particle will have stopped when velocity is zero, which is a fairly obvious statement. So let's take a look at this example. Given s of t equals t cubed minus 3t squared, at what times has the particle stopped? Well, so let's first find velocity function. So s prime of t is the same as the velocity function. And the velocity function would be 3t squared minus 6t. Well, we want to know when that is equal to 0. Well, so now we're staring at an Algebra 1 problem. We need to drop an f-bomb on that and factor. Let's take out a 3t. Inside would be t minus 2 equal to 0. Uh, that means either 3t is 0 or t minus 2 is 0. So at time 0, the particle has stopped. And at time 2, the particle has stopped. Let's take a look at one more example. Given the position function 1 third t cubed minus 3t squared plus 8t, at what times is the particle at rest? At rest is another way of saying stopped moving. So again, we need to take the derivative of the position function, which would give us the velocity function. Uh, so the derivative would be t squared minus 6t plus 8. We're going to set that thing equal to 0. Oh, look, another factoring problem. So let's factor that bad boy as t minus 2 and t minus 4 equal to 0. That means either t minus 2 is 0 or t minus 4 is 0. So at times 2 and 4, the particle is at rest. 